I see flakes. You probably can't see them, but they're there. And like when I go like this, I can see like little flakes in the air. But when I go like this, ain't no flakes over here. Hey y'all, thanks for tuning into another video. So as you can see by the title, it is about to go down. I have here with me a Shea Moisture Defining Styling Gel and my L Organics Maximum Hold Gel Styler. Both of these products were formulated for wash and go, so why not put them to the test? Okay, so you did hear me correctly, y'all. I have two big old brands, and both of them I love dearly. I love my L Organics, and I love Shea Moisture, so it's really about to be <laughs> a battle up in here. We're going to be doing a wash and go today with these two products, and like I said before, both of them are formulated for wash and goes. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to split my hair right down the middle, apply the product to each side, and we're going to see which side outweighs the other in which way. As always, my hair is freshly washed out the shower, taking this off this is what I use pretty much every wash day because it's super big and it's also giving luxury all right so now we got to deal with this I left a plastic bag over my hair after I got out the shower because we're doing a wash and go I wanted the moisture to really retain in my hair if I would have put the, the microfiber towel right on it would have sucked out some of that moisture that's not what I want for this hairstyle we need a lot of moisture when we're doing a wash and go so this is my hair freshly washed out the shower y'all and we're gonna see if we can get these curls to pop again we have these two bad boys a myel organic their gel styler versus the shea moisture styling gel i mean it doesn't get more head to head so these are the two products that we're going to be using. I'm nervous, man. I also have here with me my Felicia Leatherwood Detangling Brush. Don't think that we'll need this, but we'll see. We're going to be doing the raking and the shingling method. I also have a comb with me because I do want to make my part super straight. A few clips because we got to clip everything out the way. And if I'm looking over, I'm just looking at my mirror. Okay, so let me go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and prep my hair, but y'all... The hair is here, nice and thick and luscious. I'm loving my hair. All right, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna prep it all up so we can go ahead and get started. Okay, y'all, I'm back and I just separated my hair. I have this side all ready to go. I'm trying to determine which side is gonna be what. I think this is gonna be the same moisture side and this will be the Myel Organic side. And what I'm hoping for is to have a bomb wash and go with both styles, but I do wanna see what the similarities and differences are between the two gels. I wonder if one's a stronger holding gel, Maybe one gel might just work with my hair type a little bit better than another gel. So we're going to find all that out right now. I'm also curious to know if you guys have ever tried either of these gels. So comment below if you have tried the um, Shea Moisture or My L Organic Styling Gel. And which one do you prefer with your natural hair? But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and break this down even farther so we can start to apply the gel. Okay, so here's the first gel. Now the full title is Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus plus flaxseed defining styling gel with silk protein and neem oil it's supposed to define and shine thick curly hair so that's me i got thick curly hair i'm gonna open her up okay she has the safety seal all right it <laughs> trying to get as much gel back into the jar. I actually got these products at an, a hair event, so I did not purchase these products, but they also weren't sent to me. This smells really good. Mmm, it smells like peaches or something. I don't know. Oh, that smells good. Okay, here's the product right here, and I'm actually going to go ahead and just take some out and put it right on my finger. Because I have my leave-in in my hair already, I hope I don't need a cream. If the hair is starting to react as if I do need a cream, then I'll go ahead and put one on there, but hopefully the leave-in conditioner and the gel will be enough. So let me go ahead and start applying it. Y'all, my hair is already starting to dry out. I might need a spray bottle just to get some more moisture back into my hair. We'll see. I don't want to use too much gel. So again, just starting with the raking method. And I never judge the, the kitchen. Like I wait till I get like almost halfway up to start making judgment because the kitchen, I don't know about you friend, but the kitchen don't ever want to act like the rest of my hair. And that's because it's just closest to your neck. It's always hot down there. So yeah, it's a little stiff. So now is the time to go in and start to shingle. Child. I hope I'm not going to be here all day, honey. All right, so that's the back section right where the kitchen is. But we're going to continue. Just going to move this out the way. Take this clip down and I'm going to part my next section of hair. 
I'm giving myself like hopefully 25 to 30 minutes per side because I actually have a party to get to tonight. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more moisture on my hair. Hold on. Okay, I have here with me the leave-in refresh spray from Mish. I just need a little bit of moisture before I start to apply the gel because my hair is starting to dry out just because it's out in the open. And, and I dropped it, so it's broke, friend. <laughs> I don't know. I dropped it, so my Mish is broke, but I still can use her. So I'm just gonna put this on. This is so ghetto. <laughs> Mish, if you're watching this, can you please send me another one? And it smells so good. All right, we just wanted to reapply some of that moisture on the hair before we go back in with our Shea Moisture Styling Cream. Just right here. Just gonna take it nice, really good gooey amount. It has like a, a thick hole, but it's not like thick, thick, thick. It's not super thick. So we shall see. I'm just gonna start applying this. Let's see what happens if we brush it. <laughs> I never brush my wash and goes. Hmm. Okay. I, I hate brushing it because I feel like it messes up the gel. It like drag it drags the gel all the way down where the hair is no longer fully saturated. So that's why I don't like brushing, but this one actually came out okay. So now I'm just going in defining it and like the brush left it like a little frizzy. So I'm just dragging my hair down. I mean dragging my fingers down so it's not that frizzy. So far it's giving interesting. I mean it's definitely clumping together. I do see that the curls are starting to come through. So let me go ahead and continue and we'll just keep making our judgments. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I did go ahead and finish. I'm about almost done with the back section. I probably have one or two more little parts to go before I can move on to the front. I do love all the definition that it's giving me. It is so hard, <laughs> even to this day, for me to get used to my curl pattern because it's more of like a loose wave than like a really crinkly curl how I would love it to be. I don't know. I don't really like doing wash and goes for that reason because I don't feel like I have a strong curl pattern. But it's not that I can't do wash and goes. Like, it still comes out beautiful. It's just that, you know, the curl pattern, in my opinion, isn't that curly it's it's very very defined I just don't have a lot of curls it's more like a little crinkle but yeah so this is what we're looking like so far I do like it it's not taking me long whatsoever to get through this so I'm going to go ahead and knock out the back section I think when I'm done with the back I'm just going to move on over to this side so I can knock out the back section on this side so we're staying pretty even but so far so good it's not taking me a lot to use the product I probably only need like one big scoop per section I am brushing it through which is really helping to define the curls and then I'm going into shingle after that so we can help smooth down any flyaways so yeah it's a it's a process it's a step frame but i got it together All right, so this side of my hair is finished. We are gonna move over to the my L side. I like the definition, I'm here for it. I'm excited, looks like it's gonna end up well, but we don't know until we see the final results. So let me go ahead and move over to my L. We're gonna do this side. I'll show you guys a difference between my hair. See how it doesn't like look too much different. This side is just a lot more defined than this side. That's no product in my hair, just a leave-in. And then this is with gel. It's just a lot more slicked down and it's a lot more defined but again like I don't have a very distinct curl pattern so that's why it doesn't really look like much else than some squiggly lines but that's okay. <laughs> so let me go ahead and get this side together. We're just going to take a little bit in the back starting with that kitchen and then working our way up. All right, y'all, so we're ready to move on to the other side. We got the My L Organics one going in on the left. And this is called the My L Promigrant and Honey Blend. It's their maximum hold gel styler. Smooths and defines curls for thick, curly, type 4 hair. Alcohol-free, no flaking, and no tack. Well, I don't have type 4 hair, but we're still going to use it. Everything else seems to fit the, fit the match. Mm. Okay, so smell... This, this is this. I use other products from her pomegranate and honey line and they all hit. But this is my first time using her gel. 
it smells like I would want to use this. <laughs> it smells really good. All right, so let me go ahead and take some. Her gel is clear. Oh, wow. And it's less, it's le It's more loose too. It's clear and it's looser. The other side was definitely like a thicker gel. This is more of like a, a little bit more of a looser gel with just the consistency. I can spread it in my hands a lot easier. So we'll see y'all because normally with looser gels, that doesn't mean as tight as a hold. I don't know. I don't know. My organics always comes through. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Same. And we will not be judging the kitchen because she don't want to act right anyways. I'm just going to separate a little bit. All right. So, hmm interesting i think it did a better job at the kitchen on this side than it did on the other side i will say that i just feel like the kitchen like looks and feels a lot more better but we don't judge the kitchen friend because the kitchen don't know how to act right so she's automatically disqualified the nape or the kitchen is just like the back of your hair right next to your neck so it's going to be a lot hotter in that area and it's going to get less sunlight because it's protected by all the other hair that's on top so it just acts different all right taking down the next section I think that's good. I'm just gonna work our way right on up, y'all. It smells good. And I already, I do feel like it's working a little bit better, but I can't say just yet. I'm just surprised at how loose it is compared to uh, Shea Moisture. It's a very, like, it's, I don't know how to describe it. It's just a little bit more looser. So taking a whole bunch more, I'm gonna smack that onto our hands. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and start to go in with the product. Okay, we're not getting as much hold as the other side. Definitely realizing that. It feels lighter. This side was really heavy and weighed down, which I like because throughout the days to follow, it's gonna become more voluminous. Yeah, this side has so much more hold. This side, uh, I don't know. We're not gonna judge. We're just gonna keep going. It just, I just hope that it holds up because it definitely feels like a little bit of a lighter gel. Like I keep smoothing it down and like my, it's just not taken to my hair. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just too soon to judge. We're gonna keep going. I mean, it's definitely defined. Okay, well, we're just gonna move on because like, I don't know. And I think it's too soon to judge. But one thing I definitely am realizing is because gel was a lot thicker, then this one is just a little bit more looser of a consistency. This side was just holding. It was like that slick. <sighs> like that you know what i'm saying it was very slick this is like i gotta keep applying more to this side i feel like oh my goodness i hope this looks okay <laughs> All right, guys, so quick update as I wrap up this side of my hair, or this little back section, I should say. It is taking to the, my hair is taking to the product a lot better as I'm starting to work my way up the hair. I do like it. You know, we'll just have to see what the results is coming like. I like that I have so much length. Definitely wish I had a little bit more definition, but it's okay. This side's drying really well, by the way. Super, super pretty. So we're just gonna leave that alone and we're gonna continue working this back section and then we'll get to the front. Hey, y'all. All right, so the back two sections are fine. Finally finished. I think I'm gonna get more volume with this. I already see it. I already see it. There's gonna be a lot more volume with this section, and there's gonna be this one's gonna hold better. I can just like, can y'all see? It doesn't have that hold how this side has that hold. Like you can tell this side's a lot more sleeker. This side's a little bit, I don't want to say poofier, but it doesn't have that that hold that I need. Yeah, you know I mean, so this side got the hold. This side does not have the hold. So we're gonna finish the top section off camera and then i also am gonna sit under a blow dryer y'all i have to get to a party in less than an hour and i'm not even done my hair i still have to sit under a blow dryer and i have to get dressed looks like i'm gonna be late <laughs> but it's okay we're gonna we're gonna power through this but let me go ahead i'm just gonna knock out this section go back to the shea moisture side and then we're gonna sit under the dryer and then we're gonna get the final results okay everything's gonna be fine Woo. okay y'all we are finally finished with both sides of my hair okay this is interesting so here's how they look both sides completely finished they look very much similar they look a lot similar if they do come out the same i'm actually going to be happy so i know that i have products that i can now use going forward in my wash and goes i am going to go ahead and sit under the hooded blow dryer so i need to go grab that and set it up hopefully i can sit under it for like 30 or 40 minutes and it'll be dry fingers crossed but we'll see all right i'll be back
Hey y'all. Okay, I'm back. My hair is probably about 85% of the way dry, but I do have to get to this party I'm going to. I see I changed my outfit. I'm going to a color party and my color is orange. So uh, make sure you guys stay tuned on my Instagram and TikTok to see like my basket that I bring and all that type of jazz. But let's get back to this hairstyle y'all. Okay, so first thing I'm noticing is I see flakes. You probably can't see them but they're there. And like when I go like this, I can see like little flakes in the air, but when I go like this, ain't no flakes over here. So this side, the, what is this? The Shea Moisture side flaked a little bit. Like, I don't know if y'all can see, but it flaked a little bit on me. It still gave me a, a good amount of hold and volume, but this side I don't have no problems with. The My L Organic side, I think it's fine. It's cute, the curls are curling, like it's there. The hold is different. This has a lighter hold to it. So I'm curious to know how it's gonna be on the like three, four, and five versus this side. It just feels a lot more, like I can feel my, he my hair and it feels more crisp. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but they both look the same. Like you probably can't even tell I used a different product curls are curling okay come through curls the curls are curling y'all so both side like gets an a on getting my hair defined as much as possible however i just didn't like that i do see a little bit of flakes coming out of the shea moisture side i see no flakes coming out of the myel organic side the underneath is still a little bit wet but like i said i gotta go that's that's what we're looking like if i had to pick a side i'd probably pick my organics because it didn't flake on me i really i think i like the my my organic side and that's the side i'm touching right now it didn't flake so like you know what i mean this side flaked a little bit i'm literally shaking my hair and i can kind of see yeah you know, i'm you know, like you know when you can see like the flakes in the air and stuff like that so i can see a little bit of that but i'm not trying to like do too much also i did my nails you know you'll see did my nails matching the outfit okay <laughs> while i was sitting under the dryer i'll have my dryer link below too if you are a natural hair enthusiast if you just like doing natural hair if you're a natural hair enthusiast go ahead and get you a dryer i'm telling you that thing probably 30 minutes and my hair is like 80 percent dry if i would have air dried i would have been air drying for like eight hours so get you a blow dryer i just think the results come out so much better um when i sit under my hooded dryer than air drying so if that's something that you guys want to make an investment in you only have to purchase it one time use it i've had mine since like 2018 haven't had any issues with it and i love that i'm able to break it up and break it down as needed as well so yeah i'll have that link below if you you guys want it with other products that I use today as well so I'm gonna go to my party friend and I'm gonna say my L organics took this home I like all the volume that I'm getting and I just like that it didn't flake on me yeah you know I'm saying chief flake chief flake I can see her up here I can see the flakes and if I go like that I can see the flakes coming out of my hair my L organics took this one home honey hi guys it's day two and i just thought i would come back on here to show you really quickly like my day two results so yeah this is what we're looking like i like it i like both sides actually super cute super fluffy this is a wash and go you can see the definition is still coming through um most of my curly hair is in the back so it's covered on top by what looks like a little bird's nest but quite all right this was the myel organic side and this was the shea moisture side both sides honestly look fine the correction i can still see the flakes in my hair i don't know if like you guys can see that like that's it's definitely flaky but that that's the dried up gel in my hair like all at the top that's where i can see it the most so yeah this side has no flakes at all it's beautiful uh that's why i like the myel organic side over the shea moisture but girl curly hair is curling y'all this is my natural curl pattern right here like it's given like 3c 4a kind of vibes <laughs> but i don't really like hair typing because i probably have every single hair type of hair in my hair right now i have pieces that are more straight and i have pieces that are super curly in the back so like feeling both sides this feels softer i don't know you guys tell me if you see a difference <laughs> it did a both it did a good job at like defining my curls and stuff like that like it's super curly it is. These are my natural curls. Like, y'all see that? Y'all see that? Natural curls, baby. And it's all in the back. Okay. 
Honey, the curls ain't come to play. I wish my hair was curly like this all over. My hair is only curly like that, like in the back. When the front, like up here, it's more like poofy and less defined and dry and like definitely low porosity. But in the back, it's like more normal, uh, excuse me, high porosity. But in the back, it's more like normal to low porosity. My hair takes to the products better in the back of my hair than they do to the front. I think that's because the front is the protection layer. The front is the layer that's gonna hit the, the sun. This The front is the layer that you're going to be playing in all the time and touching and it's going to become dirty and like frizzy so that's why normally the curls underneath that are protected take better to product and just have a better curl pattern i mean for me in my personal experience and i know other curl people curl people my other curl friends go through that as well where like their hair underneath is more protected and just takes better to product and moisture and things like that whereas the hair on top it's a little bit more dry because we're hitting the sun and we're always having our fingers like right in this section so that's probably why. All right, the train is passing, guys. Gotta go. <laughs> uh yeah so that's about it guys comment below and tell me which side that you guys like better if you see any differences at all it's really crazy how like the differences on camera versus in real life like y'all can't see probably half the stuff that i see with my hair i actually also i hate middle parts i don't think that they frame my face really well so if i had the chance i would probably just take some and go like that some type of way because i don't really like middle parts so we're probably gonna have to like finesse the hairstyle i just did a middle part for y'all see see how much better i look already um i'm gonna go ahead and go to my party i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel my name is Aaliyah. i do all types of heat free natural hair care content when i say heat free i mean not direct heat as a hot comb or a flat iron I, but i do use blow dryers and things on that on a low heat setting please subscribe to me if you do like this kind of content if you are a natural hair enthusiast and want to learn more about how to perform heat free hairstyles and that is my expertise i got you covered friend so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and and stick around for some more heat free content. All right, guys, my name is Aaliyah. This is as always Aaliyah, where we always keep it real. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Deuces.